Oh, hi, you found me. So I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but like I said in my last video, right at the end of the year, I'm moving off grid. And so at the moment, I don't have a spot to film. I don't really have a spot to edit and things are really up in the air. And I know it's been a while, but I did think that today would be kind of fun to put together a top 10 or the top 10 most viewed videos on my channel since we started. So let's get right to it with number 10. At number 10 is the Canadian Donaire with 1,591 views, which doesn't really surprise me. This is a tasty, fresh ingredient and very beautiful meat. And of course, my favorite part is the sweet Donaire sauce. Uh, just one of my absolute favorite Canadian dishes. And so this definitely is well-deserved at number 10 on this list. Coming in at number nine is the Catalina dressing video. And this one got 1,702 views. Um, I really like this because it was just such a simple, easy uh, recipe from ingredients that you probably have right at home. And the method of course is super easy and it really does help you up your game on any salad uh, it just absolutely adds the perfect amount of tang and sweetness that you really enjoy in a salad. So at number nine is the Catalina dressing. At number eight with 1976 views is the Monte Cristo sandwich. Now this is perfect on a slice of beautiful artisan bread uh, and just, you know, mustard and mayo and ham and a really good tasty sharp cheese uh, and just upped one level from a regular uh, sandwich or regular grilled sandwich. Uh, this is just the perfect sandwich, especially in a cooler fall or winter afternoon. The Monte Cristo sandwich at number eight. Coming in at number seven on our list with 2,338 views is South African cornbread. And this recipe is a wonderful traditional recipe. I really do like the simple ingredients in it. And of course the cream sour corn uh, really does add something to this over a sort of American styled uh, cornbread. I really love this recipe and, and obviously uh, people responded well to it too. So at number seven, that is the South African cornbread. At number six, with 3,736 views, is the easy stovetop poiki course. Now, poiki course, of course, being a traditional South African dish, is very easy to prepare with um, layers and layers and layers of amazing ingredients from building a base with meat and adding into it root vegetables and then your soft vegetables on top. This saucy, very easy to make layered stew is definitely an absolute favorite for, of mine and South Africans everywhere. Uh, it really is a wonderfully easy dish to make and prepare and is so, so tasty. If you haven't checked out that recipe, it's definitely one I would highly recommend that you do. That is coming in at number six, the South African Easy Stovetop Poiki Kos.
So we're counting down the top 10 and starting off at number 10 was the Donaire followed by Kathleen addressing Monte Cristo, the South African cornbread and the stovetop Poiki Kos. So now we're at number six and we are heading into the top five but if you're enjoying this video please go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you know when i do post my next video but let's get on to the top five videos of the last three years of this channel Coming in at number five with 5,003 views is another traditional South African dish, Bubwerti. This is definitely one of my absolute favorite go-to dinner meals uh, with its amazing selection of spices and herbs. And it just is the absolutely quintessential South African dish for me. It's definitely a favorite. It's definitely one that I return to over and over again because I really do like the flavor profile of it. And it's not a particularly spicy dish considering how many spices are in it. So that's definitely one worth checking out. That at number five is the South African Bubuerti. Coming in at number four, and this one surprised me a little bit, at 5,161 views is Diced Tomatoes. So we're going back here really to one of our early videos. And one thing I love about Diced Tomatoes is just how versatile they are. And I have used this recipe repeatedly uh, in some of my other uh, dishes. And that's probably why this has got so, so many views, but this is definitely one one of the simplest, easiest to do recipes uh, instead of using storeboard if you're doing it from scratch. This is a great way to start just about any dish. Coming in at number three with 9,203 views of South African Coke Sisters. These are just an amazing treat and definitely one of my favorite South African treats. Uh, basically a simple syrup uh, to start and then a really, really easy to make dough, which is then uh, braided, pretty straightforward to do. And once it's braided, it is then deep fried in oil and very, very quickly dunked into that really, really cold uh, syrup. And it just makes such a delightfully tasty and sticky, uh, sweet uh, treat. Uh, South African Cook Sisters are definitely one of my absolute favorite recipes on this list. You have to try it if you haven't already. So check out that recipe. Number two on this list as the most popular with 22,940 views is the Pullman loaf or pan de mie. Uh, this uh, very, very uh, tasty bread recipe is pretty straightforward, um, but does use a very specific pan, the Pullman loaf pan, uh, which comes with a lid, uh, but it does give you a really perfect uh, sandwich bread. And this is definitely one of my favorite breads to make. It certainly go, is quite versatile. And of course you can use it with just about anything that you would do on a sandwich loaf, uh, but ready, a simple, straightforward recipe, quite popular with a lot of people. Uh, this is uh, the Pullman loaf coming in at number two on our list. So we're counting down the top 10 videos and they are number 10 is the Donaire, number 9 Catalina dressing, number 8 the Monte Cristo, South African cornbread at number 7 with Poiki Kos and Boboti at 6 and 5 with Dice Tomatoes, Cook Sisters and Pullman Loaf. 
And so that leaves us with only one video to go. And this video really surprised me. It also caused a little bit of a stir. And I'll talk about that during the video. But here we go. Number one of the most watched of my videos on YouTube so far. At number one with 41,190 views is Bannock. But this recipe caused a bit of problems and it wasn't because of the four ingredients that didn't include salt. It also wasn't because of baking it in the oven instead of using it in a pan. No, no, no. It was because I used a knife. I used a knife to cut my bannock and apparently somewhere along the line, there is some kind of law against this. I actually looked this up. I couldn't find one anywhere. I tried over and over again to find a law or some kind of rule that said I couldn't cut my bannock, but apparently that's the case. And that seems to be the biggest controversy about this particular recipe, which is quite surprising to me because really at the end of the day, it's all about enjoying food. So that is my most popular video with over 41,000 views, my bannock and ready, one that I really enjoy. And that brings us to the end of this top 10 of the most viewed videos on my channel. Now, in fairness, these numbers have probably changed a little bit from when I started editing this. I went on one day and took all the numbers down and all the view counts down. So that may have changed by now. Um, so did you agree with this list? Do you find any of these your favorites? Or are there other little hidden gems that you preferred uh, in my content over the last three years? If you do, please go ahead and comment down below what your favorite videos are. Now, until next time, I think it's time for me to keep looking for a place to cook.